What's up guys? So, you still want to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to change your name to this series, so you still want to be an entrepreneur, despite everything I'm telling you. Um, this video is about being hated and misunderstood, and about being hated and understood. And look guys, this this will be a struggle for you. And get ready because people are going to fucking hate you and just <laughs> look man it's just like in everyday life you can try to please everybody or you can welcome the fact that even if you do this like it's 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 not gonna work please one person fucking cross another and anyway why should you fucking try to please anybody so look do you do your own fucking thing and people are going to fucking hate you that's a fucking given accept this fact and it will make things a lot clearer don't fucking listen to them they do not have your best interests in mind they do not care about you they do not want to help they're jealous of you in the fucking worst ways now when you're starting off they're gonna hate you because you're shit or they're gonna hate you because you're fucking trying and the big guys are going to fucking hate you because you're a little dog nipping at their heels. And they're going to tell everybody, even if you do a great job, they're going to tell everybody that you're shit and that you're a fucking hack or whatever. And when you get good, they're going to hate you too. And the little guys are going to hate you also. And, you know, they're going to accuse you of taking their business or like whatever, you know, not giving them enough handouts. And the worst time the worst fucking time it is this is connected with what i was saying in yesterday's uh yesterday's video the same tree by the way it's third person perspective but yeah um yeah and i don't even fucking remember what i was gonna say <laughs> but yeah they're they're gonna fucking hate you because uh oh yeah so talking about confidence okay so when you don't know shit or you have a tiny little scrap of knowledge you think you fucking know everything and you know you're fucking amazing you know, you're, you're, you're the fucking best. And right now, it doesn't really fucking matter to you what people think of you. But then you get a bit of experience and your confidence gets fucking taken down to the fucking bottom. And this is the toughest part. As you're building your experience and your confidence and everything like that, as you're on the fucking come up legitimately, and you're finding yourself and you're finding your, your business method and you're finding your work method, and you're finding what works well for you, as you're on the fucking come up, you know, building everything, this is when people are going to fucking hate you the most. And this is when you're going to be technically at your fucking weakest because you're going to be pushing your limits and you're going to be fucking changing everything, you know, and you're going to be thinking outside the box and you're going to be trying new shit, changing one thing at a time to see what works best. And sometimes things work and sometimes things don't. But put those other people out of your mind. They're going to fucking hate you anyway. So if you're trying... But, so if you're deciding between a new technique to use, you know, your tried and trusted technique, that's okay. Or your new technique that you never used, but it might fucking really help, but it might not work so great. And there are people watching, you know, and they're automatically going to watch you and think that you're fucking fumbling if they want, you know, it's like the reverse fucking halo effect. No, it's like being extremely good looking. That's a trick, I guess. If you're extremely good looking, that'll fucking help you in business and in life. And even if you fucking uh, act incompetently, people are going to think that you, you know, it was on purpose, you know, because you're, you're just so fucking perfect looking. But that's not really my issue here. So <laughs> I'm not really qualified to fucking speak on that. But seriously, accept the fact that people are going to fucking hate you. And your friends, too. Uh, let me tell you something about your friends. Unless your friends are other fucking entrepreneurs, they're not your fucking friends. Don't believe me? Market your business to all of your friends. Share your business on Facebook with all of your friends and ask them to share. Ask them to like your fucking business page. Ask them to like your posts. You shouldn't even have to ask. They should be fucking liking them anyway. And they won't. They don't. And if you ask, they won't. They're going to come up with some big fucking excuse. And look at the other shit that they like. Look at all the fucking selfies of stupid bitches that they fucking like. That already have like a million likes of a fucking dumb bitch sucking in her gut in front of the fucking mirror. And then your stupid idiot friend actually falls for it. And he writes on the picture, Question. What do you do 
about your abs. What do you do for your abs? And then the dumb bitch writes back, I dance, or something stupid like that. And these are the people that won't support your business. And everyone is too quick to say that it won't work out. Your, your friends, your peers, your family, everybody. Everybody. So don't fucking listen to them. Accept the fact that they will fucking dislike you. And it's just because they're fucking threatened by you. They don't want you to succeed because they're fucking shit. If they were good, or if they were adequate, then they wouldn't give a fuck about you. Okay, there are more than enough trees for everyone to fucking work on. If we all wanted to do tree work, and many other industries are exactly the same, guys. Like, you know, they can be very competitive, but they brainwash you into thinking that there's a monopoly, and it's impossible to get your foot in the door. So that's another reason why do you think people fucking hate me. People inside my fucking industry, because I broke the fucking door down in their precious fucking guilt. And I'm proving that anyone can do it, fuck. And it's not about a fucking piece of paper. It's about drive and grit and fucking brains and brawn and putting everything that you know together, fuck, and learning more. It's not about sitting in a fucking classroom and simping to some fucking teacher or to some fucking government agency or paying fucking union dues or membership dues. Yeah, those guys hate me too. Health and safety, they fucking hate me too. I told them to put me on a do not deliver list. And if they come onto my fucking job site again, they'll be rebuffed with extreme prejudice. Because as they were explained in no uncertain terms, although their employees are not authorized to use force, mine are. Yeah, so that's the fuck how it is, man. And I'm fucking Godzilla, and I have radiation breath, and when I get mad, you better fucking make sure I don't even fucking look at your direction. Otherwise, you're toast, motherfucker. I hope this fucking helps. See you next time.